Greetings fellow zombie survivors and happy apocalypse to everybody. Welcome to a brand new series on the game Terminus Zombie Survivors. This is what I um, described previously as a little bit of a turn-based project zomboid, um, which, you know, is uh, probably a little bit of a very rough description, but we'll get into the details later. So this is a game that came out of early access i think last week or the week before so just recently um i've played it during the early access phase some years ago and then i played one run um off camera basically after the release and now we're gonna go into a fresh run and and see how it goes so um i think it's easier to explain the game while we're actually seeing what's happening so let's just start a new game here First of all, um, we need to choose a profession. So I've, um, these are the professions that are in game. The golden ones are ones I completed a run with. Um, initially, I think only the top three are unlocked and you unlock them as you complete runs. So I think we're gonna go for a run with the student. Each profession has a unique perk. Um, and, or in this case, two unique perks. Some also have unique like starting equipments, like the firefighter starts with fire axe and then also specific um, distributions for their stats um, and then some extra stat points to you know buy more stats with so for the student we um, don't have any stats but we have 12 points to actually distribute and you know we're gonna, we're gonna go just with a distribution of the points um, let's go quick through the attributes strength determines how much you can carry <clears throat> and um, the more you carry, um, the more your, your action points get reduced uh, for your movement, or rather uh, increased, you spend more action points for movements if you're, if you're overweight, if you're carrying too much stuff. Um, so action points determines how much you can do in each hour of the game, in each turn. Health is how many action points do you recover each turn. Observation is really like the distance, how far you can see. Uh, combat is flat out bonus damage on combat so for each points you do 20 percent more damage agility is <clears throat> again a decrease in action points for movement and dodge chance for incoming attacks and then dexterity is mostly about crafting um, and high dexterity determines your crafting speed all right um that's me student and then we get some trade points. The amount of trade points you get depends on your player level. Like the more you play, the more points you get. Um, we also see here some. Um, there's a, there's a whole achievement system completing the game with certain traits. So I've completed with a few here already. So let's see. Let me look at the more expensive traits yet. Survival partner, start with companion. Ooh. Let me see. Steal items from other survivors. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Start with level 2 punk. Scrap metals whenever tools or weapons are broken. That seems interesting. Well, while increased by half the AP spent reading. Now, as a student, we're going to be reading a lot because we can read books multiple times and we're reading faster. So that might be something to take. Like some seems like there's like, is this really a positive perk here? It's parkour. I don't want to spend too much time looking for all of this, so we're gonna get take reading level, <clears throat> and then for two points, it's purity. Should you burn an unread book or a thick book, your moral increases by one. Um, no, no. As a student, we're gonna have a coffee preference, right? And you know, <clears throat> maybe also an alcohol preference. Don't judge me. Ah, somebody's knocking? Probably just the neighbors want some sugar or something. Lighting fire at night increases your chance of being chased by zombies. I'm sure that's not gonna be an issue. 
Okay, so it's generating the world. So the world is kind of um, procedurally generated, but all, always has a certain um, basic layout, and that we'll get to in a second here. Infected zombies are attacking people. Your house is still safe, but electricity and water have been cut off. And there are few supplies left. In your last communication, you learn that the surviving people have gathered in terminus to arrive at the terminus safely to survive. You can get a radio to listen to the broadcast or follow the railroad tracks to find out where the terminus is located. So um, this is the map of the city. There are always several dangerous places, so zombie um, numbers are higher in the areas around these locations. This is my current house, and somewhere at the top there's this terminus location, which is basically where multiple train tracks, you know, connect together and there's a survivor base. So one way to win the game is to reach that base and join that. But there are, I think, in total six win conditions that you can go for. And one of those win conditions is actually developing a cure for the zombie, um, zombie infection, de developing a vaccine. So since we're a smart student, right, that might be something we, we, we try to go for if we find the right stuff for it. But one step at a time. So um, this is my character. Like, the graphics is functional. Um, it's not probably the most uh, breathtaking 3D graphics that you've ever seen, um, but it's it's a turn-based game, you know? And it has all the graphics it needs. So down here is the character sheet. Hit points, action points, so you can have a total of 20. At the moment, per turn, we recover 11 points. Then uh, hunger and thirst, or 20 in hydration, if you want to sound fancy. Um, then your energy, or just general tiredness, and then morale. Um, so yeah. Then a whole bunch of details, current temperature, defense rating, how encumbered you are, etc, etc, etc. I'm probably very rarely looking at this. XP. Um, so these are our traits. As students, we have 50% additional reading speed, and we can read the same book multiple times. Um, XP works in an interesting way, as in you simply get AP, uh, uh, XP, experience points, for spending action points. So as long as you do something, you get XP. Um, then our stats, we looked at those already, and our traits, reading lover, coffee, and alcohol preference. Right, so here we are. Um, when you go somewhere, when you hover over a tunnel, you see how many action points it will take to go there. So um, first of all, we are at home. We're going to start searching and looting everything we see around us. Bandage, soft drink, a map fragment. Wonderful. Let's open the inventory and use that thing right away. And a bunch of locations get added to our map. So if we now look at the map, we're going to see it's a clothing store, electronic store, library, and some railroad tracks around here that are probably leading kind of this way, so not straight up. Gives us some information. Um, we could just immediately throw this away. I think we can use that as tinder for a fire. Oh, there's a, a zombie friend outside. That is uh, a little bit inconvenient, because we have uh, not that many weapons at the moment. Ah, keep searching. Um, a Bible, antidepressants, and a crafting recipe book that we can read. Well, that's not going to help us immediately. Knife, Lola bar, and some arrow hole. Good condition gloves, a flashlight, and some beer. And there was a plank here on the ground. Okay. Knife is condition 54%. So now we are at 6.9 action points. We recover 11 per turn. So uh, we might as well just at this point end turn. Each turn is one hour of the daytime. You see in the top left here, 6 a.m. right now. Sun sets at 8 in the evening. And we don't want to be outside somewhere at night time if we can avoid it. 
kitchen. Nice. Um, there's not much going on in our house here. All right, we get some fresh food, some water. Um. Well, let's take a look out the window. There's a path to an unidentified place there. I think we're just gonna open the window. Go outside. Now, going through a window has a risk of causing you a sprain. Because you're, you're climbing out the window and you're kind of clumsy. So that's a little bit of a risky move, but we take it. Now, going to this other place would take us 11 action points. Since we only have seven, gonna wait one more turn. Forget about the zombie that's over here and see where we end up. Discovered another house with a garden. Scrap plastic on the ground and a friendly neighborhood zombie welcoming us. A knife, we can probably attack him a little bit. Let me see how much damage does this do 1.4 to 1.7, but it has a penalty if we go for the head. Now, as we all know, you know, from, from all zombie knowledge, to actually kill a zombie, you need to kill the brain. So, maybe. So there's, there's two things also when we're hovering over a zombie that you can see. You can see these checkered tiles here, or these red with the, the, the lines on them. This is the movement range of the zombie, where he can move to, and then also like if you're standing on a tile, where he can attack, what he can attack. And then you have this kind of reddish outline that you can see here. And it's a little bit, little bit hard to see in some places, but it's kind of going around here. This is his vision range. If he, if we step through his uh, cone of vision, he will come for us, right? He notices us. They also have some hearing, but uh, usually like vision is more their detection type. I think since we're currently outside of his vision, go down here, there's another friend down there, a helmet zone. Narrow vision, unable to bite, but his head is protected. Okay, we're down to 4.9 action points, so we let some time pass. Try to sneak into the house and maybe see if we can loot a better weapon. There's also another unidentified path, identified place south of our house. I also kind of want to check here. Carrots. Carrots growing. We could harvest those, but if you wait until they're 100% grown, you also get some seeds. This is our only piece of extra clothing providing us with um, protection, but it also. So there's rotting co and co rotting corpse here. Um, they will infect you if you search them, unless you're wearing gloves. So I'm going to put on these gloves. That will lose a lot of their condition from doing this, but usually you can find some good shit. A duffel bag. That is an amazing find. So we're going to put this one on it on the shoulder which reduces the weight of what we have in the inventory so if you hover all the weight here you see currently we have 7.3 of the 45 capacity in the duffel bag and everything in there is reduced by 45 percent so um, we can carry a lot more stuff i have never in any of my other runs found a bag that's so good um i think i'm gonna actually pass a turn early here since we know there's a zombie right outside this door somewhere here i don't want to step to the window and then have no ap left all right yeah that's our friend from before he saw us let's 
some stuff here from the fridge. Now there's there's two approaches to this, right? We can try to fight zombies, or we can just say, yeah, screw this, go to the rest of the house, loot the stuff, and get out of here. Although I'm kind of keen on harvesting this and getting the seeds. If we want to find a zombie vaccine, we're going to set. I have to set up for a long-term run. So we definitely need some farming. The other good thing is there's a couch in this place, which gives increased sleep quality. We didn't have any sleeping option in our in our original uh, home, which is a weird thing to say, but um, it is what it is. Ooh, now this changes things. Okay, a fighting knife, which gives bonus, 50% bonus to head attacks, and another map fragment. The research center, a gun shop. All right, all right, all right. And a park. Oh, this is this is an amazing find. Except it's all next to that dangerous place. Holy crap! <laughs> so the research center is probably like one thing we have to go to for the for the vaccine research. And a park is a great spot because we can get, do fishing there. There's a little lake in the park usually where you can go to water and fish. So infinite food and food and water. But it's yeah, it's far off. <laughs> so tackle this world here one one zombie at a time. Right and a stick. Red plastic. And a lighter. Alright, let's see where this zombie goes to. He saw us? Yeah, on that window. I think I'll let the zombie be a zombie. Let's search the rest of this house here. Novel. Thank you, Peg. Which is actually, it has better weight reduction than the duffel bag, but not as much capacity. I'm fairly certain that if I equip it on the back, that the game sorts out. Yeah, I put stuff in the backpack first. So maybe we actually want to take this off to reduce our encumbrance. Like each, um, it's not just about weight, but also about encumbrance. And more encumbrance will slow us down. Make our moves take more action points, make our attacks take more action points. Yeah. The, the appeal of this place as a base I dropped drastically here with the broken window. Ah, let's see. So, fighting zombies. This is the available weapons we have. So planks can be used, but they are single-use weapon. They will they will go poof after attacking a single time. Uh, any other weapons loses condition. You can repair them if you have the right tools for repair. I'm gonna take this knife. And if we hover over here, I have a 100% hit chance. Attacking the head is an increased condition loss on the weapon. But also, it's it's the one way to you know quickly kill a zombie. And we see they have 3.4 hit points on the head. Our knife attack does 3.6 to 4.5 damage. So this should be a guaranteed one-shot, and it is. Your 7% condition, and the zombie dropped some rags. Now, there are these unidentified places we can move to, right? And on the map, they will show up like this. We found something here in one of the shadows, which is a street map. We can use this to actually look up what these unidentified places are. The further away from your position it is, the more action points it costs to use the street map. 
So we're going to keep it very close here, unless we can, yeah, fit in three places. So we spend four AP to do this. And we see this is a pharmacy, this is another house, and this is also another house. What is this? A crude arrow, a stick, threat. I'm kind of uh, debating. Now we have seven more hours of daylight, right? I'm going to pass the turn here. I'm kind of thinking taking this route to this house down here, which I'm, I'm assuming is a house. I don't know. Um, uh, to the place down here. This is probably going to take a, a day or maybe two to fully grow, so I want to come back. We should probably um, add a note to this house. Couch here, there are farm plots here. Only thing I'm concerned about, there was the helmet zombie down here. So maybe instead of going down to the unidentified place that could maybe not be a house, because ideally I want to have a couch where we can sleep at. So let's go north. Moving costs us 10 AP, then we would be at the other place with 1 AP left, which is not great. So I think instead, um, can I use the street map one more time? Is there any anything where we can find two places to check? The left here. Let's do that. Building store and a fire station. Makes things very interesting. Let's pass the tip. Let me first head out to that other house here. Okay, no zombies in the immediate area, but also no door or window. Come over here. Now, um, the further you go, in a single move, the more action points you save. So if you move tile by tile, you see one tile costs me one AP to move, two tiles, 1.9. So you kind of need to find a, a middle ground between doing long moves, where you save some AP, and you know, not running into the fog of war, and into a bunch of, of, of zombies. Like this guy there. We know that we can probably one-shot him with a combat knife. So I'm okay with just going up to him. What up? Ah, what about this friend here? At 9.9 .9 left. Let's go here. Door was open. That is lucky. Okay. Down to 50% on the combat knife. I want to pick up all this stuff. And I'm potentially staying in this house. So let's make sure we close the door behind us. Loot. Clear first or loot first? Loot first. Lots more food, another water bottle, that is all wonderful. 1.4, now let's wait before we go into the next room. That's a couch. And a broken window, that's not so great. Ooh, now here is one of the things, so there's, there's these thick books in the game. And reading this will increase our agility by one. And we are 
our character is student with the trait that we can um how was it a trait? Uh, here we can read the same book one more time so this agility book we can read two times which would put our agility to four and if we get one more level in our trade here we can read the book two more times so we can max out with a single book our agility stat There's a helmet zombie outside. That's not great. I think we gotta we gotta take care of him one way or the other. We're gonna cover this window because we wanna stay here the night. He hasn't seen me yet, and even if he comes down. He will not see me, right? Because he has only one tile of vision. So even though I'm technically in his attack range, I'm kind of safe here. I'm going to move next to him. I'm going to attack. But I'm not going to use the that knife. We would have to go through 10 HP on the head and then another 4.1 to actually kill him. Or take the kitchen knife and go for the body. So now he cannot attack anymore. Is that enough for me? No. I'm gonna um, hit his legs now a little bit. And now he's just um, a head in a helmet. We could even wrap him up in in a rack and have him in, in, in our inventory. So he's not like, I don't know, are they growling on the ground, attracting others? I don't know what the, like, we're gonna do it just to show it off here. So we now have um, a zombie head wrapped in a rack. I haven't found the actual use yet for, for, for doing that, but uh, we got it. All right, go back inside and we sprint, sprint our leg. Fantastic. Close this. Mm, hang on. We have a hammer. We can reinforce this. We can fix this. Lost us a plank. But wait. Four. Yeah, sure. Let's let's actually reinforce this a little bit more. Have I up with a break? Okay. So now this is all covered up. No light outside, and this has no windows. Oh, this I like this house. We have a desk for increased reading speed. Ah, let's let's be um, vigilant about taking notes here. So uh, no, source add, add note. Watch desk. Two desks even. So I'm gonna have night time now, but since there are no windows in this room, I'm not too concerned about being spotted from outside. Boom. And finding a compression bandage, which we could use to heal our sprain, but I think that also heals when we're sleeping, I'm fairly certain it should heal. Uh, we should take a look at our other stats though. Our hydration is down, satiety is down. Energy is also getting kind of low. So uh, let's drink some water. And let's see if we can... Can we prepare... Can we prepare a salad? Some lettuce for that. 
Oh yeah, I guess we're just eating any raw food that we want here. So you see timers on the items. This is basically telling you how quickly they will go bad. The, f the, the meat is going to go bad fairly soon, 14 hours. Everything else is kind of still okay. Which were actually um, ordered and they, they go bad. Uh, let's eat. Eat an orange or two. Should have eaten first because they also provide some hy um, hydration. And maybe also eat some corn. Okay. We have. So by default, we're losing one energy per turn. I think we can spend some time here at the desk reading before we get completely tired. No, I don't think we need those crafting recipes just yet. The army base too is a kind of a edge case cooking recipe, I think. So I think we're just gonna go straight into reading the thick book here for our agility stat. Um, reading speed here currently is 8 pages per action point spent. And we can either right click for spend a single action point or just hold right click to spend all our action points, which we're gonna do. Puts us down to 112 pages read, read in a single turn. It's kind of, it's pretty good. 4.8 to get over there. So let's just keep, keep reading. Tired. It's gonna reduce, I think, our action point gain per turn, yes. So I think we're just gonna do one more full turn of reading. And then book it over to the couch. And snooze. Oh, we never searched that dresser. Can do that in the morning. Alright, when sleeping. We can either sleep until all ailments are healed, so our, our sprain and our tired nets can heal, um, sleep until our energy is fully restored. Or if we have an alarm clock for a set amount of time. For now, we're just going to go for the energy. And once you hit then, once you sleep and hit end turn, you're out of control. You're going to sleep until your character wakes up. Which in our case is even with one hour to sunrise to spare. Wonderful. So we got some time. Fire extinguisher. Grab this rack that's down here. What is this? Arrow. Like, I've tried using bows and arrows before. They were kind of awful. So I don't think I'm, I'm even going to bother picking that stuff up. So let's let's plan our moves here for today. I think I wanna get some more information on the surrounding places here. We have two places we can identify here. Nearby, two more houses. Fire station is kind of nice, though. Is there anything else between the pharmacy and the fire station? Yeah, probably. Okay. Like, pharmacy seems sounds like a great place. I just don't think there's anything we desperately need right now. So I'm thinking we're gonna make our way down to the house where we've been yesterday, see if the farm is at 100%, and then either hop over to the clothing store because we're, we're not, well, we have a cardigan to you know, protect us from colder temperatures. Other than that, we're kind of light on clothing so far. 
Um, or maybe just go for another house because we kind of need to get some some kitchen stuff like a cooking cooking pan or pot. Sucks that the meat is about to rot. Hang on, maybe we can not the school. Huh? Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do before we leave. With that, then we'll make a fire with our lighter and cook up that meat on the meat score. So that means it's not gonna go bad in four hours, but in ten hours or rather we can immediately just eat it without risking diseases here. The sprain was not healed. Okay, so I'm going to use the bandage, the compression bandage, and try to not jump through windows as much. Alright, um, that all being said, I think this is kind of a decent place for a house. We're going to store some items here, so that we don't have to carry all this stuff around, like the zombie hat. Um, this crap stuff, I think some of the books, vitamins, drop the weak vitamins here, let's empty this bottle of water and I can drop it here, and the alcohol. Puts our movement AP now down to 1 instead of 1.2, so we're going to be a little bit faster here. Cool. And we spent enough time to be a level up. So each level up you have the choice between three skills. So we can level up our speed reading, we can level up our review, so we can read books another time, or we can get clean attack. It reduces the condition loss of weapons when attacking by 15%, which is an amazing skill to get this early. Like, as much I want these two, but... Like, those I already have, right? Um, I will get these offered multiple times. This might not come again if you don't pick it. So I'm just going to pick it up. And turn. The door. Um, okay. Well, that's the way to the pharmacy. Now we wanted to go here to the house. There might have been new zombies coming in over. Actually, I want to close the door behind me. Don't want you here. Yes, we gotta clean up our backyard. Leave me with 4 AP if I go all the way down here. Taking the gamble here. Is that over? 96 on the farm. I guess we swing by on the way back, maybe? I said I'm not going to bother with arrows, but I think we can just throw them in a fire. Doing here 3.7 to 4.6. kind of sucks. I'm gonna hit you once, then swap out to the kitchen knife. Yeah, we get a damage penalty on head attacks. But it's still enough to kill, and I'm saving some condition on that combat knife. Right. Pass the turn, head over to that other house. 
It's the turn again here. Start exploring the area. The police officers of B has a huge vision range and probably gonna take two hits to the head. Well, that's never friend right next door. Also five HP. Oof. I hope our fighting knife is gonna last long enough. Um, can we maybe lose the hammer, the extinguisher? I mean, I'm not picky. That's actually doing good damage, that thing. Ooh, this zombie dropped some vitamins. Okay. Uh, he can't reach us. He also hasn't seen us yet. So, just gonna end turn here. It's not a fire extinguisher, it's a zombie extinguisher. So I don't you don't ever want to go um above the 20 limit on action points here. So when you when I wait a turn, I always want to make sure that I'm not gaining too many points. What's this? Zombie guts? Why are they in that spot? That's not why I killed the zombie, is it? Okay, we only have one door. And it's locked. And we don't have any tool to force it open. So I guess... We have to go through a window, and that window is also locked. We can smash it in. Some daylight here. No spray in this time. Time to loot this place. Oh, wonderful, useful stuff. Bunch of fresh food. Let's strike. Plus 25% damage when melee attacking. That is a good book to read. Getting thirsty, you know, this time I'm gonna... Eat some of the food that also provides hydration, like an onion, just, you know? Always when I get a little thirsty, I eat a whole onion. That's just how I roll. Lantern, providing us some light in the darkness. Perhaps. Just make sure we can open this door in the future. Painkillers and a windbreaker. Now, this all took a little bit longer than expected. So I don't think I want to push onto the fire station. So I'm going to prepare spending the night in this place here. I'm going to cover the windows. Close the doors. We don't have a dresser for reading, so we might as well make ourselves comfy at the couch. And then first things first. Uh, let's take the street map, see if we can just unlock one more, some more secrets here. Two places here, two more houses. We can get a second place with that under identified place here. A little bit pixel hunting. Every every Game needs some good pixel hunting, right? A library. 
definitely another place we want to hit up. Uh, I think I'll go one more, one more street map here to find out what's next to the fire station. And it's another house. All right. Well, I think we're gonna. Well, I want to finish the the thick book, but head strike is such a good skill to have. And I think we're gonna read that one first. And then you're reading that thick book. Um, yeah. Can I read Headstrike book multiple times to get multiple levels of that skill? Oh, yes, I can. Quiet one out of four. Oh, boy. All right, all right. Well, but let's finish the agility book. So have plenty of energy. Movement AP decreases. Increased chance to avoid attacks. We have to reread it. Let's read that. I also really should not be wearing the clothes, uh, the, the gloves, because they lose condition when you have them equipped. And as long as you don't need the temperature temperature boost or the defense, you kind of want to preserve condition as much as possible. Okay, but it's one a.m. Um, I think we're gonna take a nap now. Cover all that precious energy. Maybe I should have taken a drink. No, waking up. A little bit thirsty, a little bit hungry. The milk, eat some cheese. Cheese is gonna hold on fairly long here. Wasting all that morale boost. It's the with the morale from reading that that we got with this character. It's just kinda kinda nuts. Never had to pay this little attention to morale. Um, oh, we have Dane time. Okay, so we can head out again. I want to hit up the fire station because we can probably most often the fire station has a fire truck. Um, so getting a car is a huge game changer, although fire trucks are guzzling fuel. So unless we find a gas station nearby, we're not gonna have that car for long. So yeah, one hit up fire station, library is a good place to visit. Um, check out the farms over here, and we still have a bunch of houses to check. But yeah, this is uh, those were the first two days here in Terminus Zombie Survivor. Um, and yeah, we'll continue this one in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time.